I really need a break. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. So I started my channel back when Aubrey was just over one years old and Juan was getting home from his second deployment to Afghanistan. It's been about three and a half years since I started YouTube and while I haven't grown maybe as like quickly as some other channels, I really appreciate everyone who comes and watches my videos and supports my channel by commenting and giving thumbs ups and all of that stuff. But I have to say that while I do enjoy it as a hobby, I really need to just take a little bit of a break. Now this break is definitely going to be temporary and it's more probably because of my health more than anything else. So you guys have seen my weight fluctuate over the last three and a half years if you've been following me since the beginning and I am just not in a really good place right now. I don't have any like major health issues that like need to you know go to a doctor or whatever but I am definitely a lot heavier than I would like to be and my depression plays a part into it and I'd really like to just like spend some time focusing on getting really good night sleeps focusing on getting a lot of good exercise in eating healthier and not having the additional stress of feeling like oh I should be filming this Ooh, I should be filming this oh I gotta edit tonight so I'm not gonna sleep as much as I should or anything like that and I know that that temptation to still film my process of trying to get healthier is still going to be there but I know in the long run it'll be so much better for me if I just kind of step back and say like take that pressure completely off of me of like I'm not gonna film any of this like you guys will see like a before and a after maybe if I get healthier which is my hope my hope my goal but I really want to take that pressure of filming just like completely off the table and really focus on getting me back to a place that is healthier for me and then, you know, so I can be a better mom to my children and, you know, be here longer for sure. So a little bit of a backstory. I know this is kind of like a rambling video, but I wanted to give you guys like some more details. You know, I, I feel like I'm not embarrassed to say my weight or anything like that. I am 5'9", and when I got pregnant with Jack, I was around 209 pounds, which was heavy for me. Um, when I, the lowest I've ever been as an adult, I weighed like 139 pounds, and people told me that I looked sick. Uh, even in like the 140s, I was very thin and you know, probably I, I was healthy, but you know, maybe on the verge of being unhealthy based on my body type. And so between 150 and 170 is kind of like a healthy range for me from my past experience. So I got married at like around 170, 175. And then like in the months that followed Juan and Mai's wedding, I gained a lot of pounds or whatever. I gained like 20 to 30 pounds, I wanna say because we were just like watching a bunch of Netflix and like going and getting coffee and like not really exercising or anything like that. It was just kind of like, let's just chill here. <laughs> so I gained a lot of weight, you know, after uh, our wedding and then he deployed and when he got back, like I had, I tried to lose weight or whatever. I was hovering around 200 pounds and that's kind of been like the the normal for me. So uh, when I got pregnant with Aubrey, I gained like, I wanna say 50, 60 pounds. And I was so excited. I have a video on this channel where like, I finally got under 200 pounds and I hadn't seen that in a long time. And that was right about the time that we were gonna be moving home to live with my parents. And, uh, you know, we moved back home with them after Juan got out of the military and we were eating out a lot and stuff like that. So like I kind of got back over 200, but I, I kind of stayed around that weight. 
Then I got pregnant with Jack and I was about, I want to say like 209, between 209 and 216. And I got up back up to like 260, 265 uh, when I was like fully pregnant with him. And obviously, uh, you know, he was an almost 11 pound baby. And so, you know, the a big amount of weight gain contributes to that, to the placenta, to all the extra fluid and all of that stuff. But, you know, I gained a lot of weight. And I was maybe like three months postpartum when we moved into this house. And I had gotten back down to like 220, 223, somewhere around there. So I had lost like 40 pounds in a matter of three months. And then we went on a family vacation and I just started gaining. Like I gained five pounds that family vacation, which I was like, it's a vacation, oh well, whatever. But then I continued to gain like another 15 pounds and haven't been able to lose it. So I am like around 245 pounds right now. Again, I'm 5'9", so you know, it's, it's stretched out. It's not like I'm like really short and that much. But, you know, I'm a lot heavier than I'd like to be. I mean, like at one point I weighed 100 pounds less than I do now. And the other discouraging thing is this Lent, I gave up coffee, which was kind of, it is my vice. It's where I probably consume a lot of extra calories and I haven't lost like anything. <laughs> so I'm a little confused about that. We don't eat out very often. I do bake more now than I did at my mom's house, but I gained a lot of this weight when Jack was still like really young and I wasn't sleeping much and I don't even think I was baking much. So it's kind of, it's mind boggling for me why I gained so much weight, why I'm still maintaining it, even though I cut out a lot of things that were the unhealthy parts of my life. So all of this to say, <laughs> I just, I really want to focus on getting good sleep and waking up early, even though I'm definitely a night owl. I'm filming this late at night when everyone's asleep. Um, I'm definitely a night owl and I kind of feel like, okay, if I go to bed shortly after the kids go to bed, wake up early when like Juan wakes up, do a workout, shower, which is like another thing with my depression. I really struggle to like get that motivation to go shower, even though I know it's good for me. So like if I you know, wake up early, exercise, shower, maybe just do like a bunch of basic meal planning with like chicken, quinoa, veggies, you know, just more high protein, not as many sweets, not as many carbs, and just focus on that and take out the stress of wanting to film if I make a recipe or if I clean, you know, the house and I'm like, oh, this would be a great video. I can clean the house again and I will clean the house again. And so I just, I really think that I need a little bit of a break. Now that being said, I'm definitely a perfectionist and I have never really missed a day of posting anything on my Monday, Friday schedule. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually going to take a break. I recently downloaded a lot of um, videos of mine over the, you know, three and a half years that I've been on YouTube and I'm making some marathon videos. So I have like a clean with me marathon video, which will be like a few hours long consisting of, you know, some of my favorite little videos uh, that I did like cleaning wise. And while some of the quality of the videos may not be like, you know, pristine, you still get the picture. And I hope that, you know, it's, motivating to whoever watches it if you guys choose to watch it. Uh, I'm also like downloading all my party preps and so I'll have like a party prep marathon video and I think like a pantry organization video and I don't know if I'll download anything else but in my head it's like okay that buys me a week and a half of posting videos but I still feel like I need a month. I need a month off of just focusing on me and trying to just get back to a healthier version of me because I don't want to die young. I don't want to leave my children like without a mom and I know where I'm at is not healthy. I just really feel like 
my depression and my desire to not miss a day of like posting something or the pressure to film anything I feel is film worthy. If I just take that out and, you know, take my medicine more consistently and focus on my health, like I'll just be in a much better place and there will still be plenty of content. It also kind of helps that like there's not really a lot of party prep videos coming up. Like all of our birthdays are like done after my birthday until Aubrey's birthday. So like all of those things that I would definitely want to film, like I have time. So I just hope that you guys understand. And I'm sure you guys do like my reason for wanting to take a little bit of some time from filming and editing and all of all of that. But like I said, I will be posting some marathon videos and on the days that maybe I don't post like a video, I might post a link and, you know, mention like an old time favorite video that if you guys haven't checked out that I really, you know, think you guys might enjoy. But do know that, you know, I do plan on getting back to my regular schedule and like new filmed content relatively quickly within like a month, maybe a month and a half. It just, it's depends on how I feel and how things are going. And maybe I'll just do some more like, just sit down and talk to you guys videos because these are kind of a little bit easier for me to do. Uh, I think the one thing that holds me back is like not liking how I look and hopefully that will change. <laughs> but that's I think one of the reasons why I don't always just sit down and, and talk or you know, even get clips where you see my whole body because I'm just, I'm not really happy with where I'm at, but I, I, up until this point, I haven't been super motivated to do anything about it. And so I need to take the little bit of motivation that I've been feeling and really run with it. And so I really hope you guys understand. And if you want to support me even more during this little hiatus, I guess that I'm taking you know, feel free to look back at some of my really old videos and, and check them out and see, you know, kind of maybe where I, where I've come from and if there's any improvement or if there's anything that you guys really like and um, want to give me some feedback on that and, you know, any videos that you would really like to see, uh, leave those in comments on any posts that I do or just things like that, that I do in, in the meantime between filming. So Anyways, thank you guys for, you know, kind of hearing me out on why I need to take a little bit of a break from YouTube. Uh, but like I said, this is one of my favorite hobbies. I love sharing these things with you guys. And there are, you know, a number of you guys who comment on like every video. And it just, it really means the world to me because I am a words of affirmation person. And I don't always get, you know, the amount of words of affirmation that I really feel like I need. And so... I just really appreciate when you guys comment and give me positive feedback. It really means more than you guys know. So I will be back soon. Uh, you guys will see a clip of me probably looking like this before my marathon videos, just kind of explaining why very briefly um, I'm doing a marathon video. And uh, you guys will see me soon and hopefully I will be just a healthier version of myself and just, you know, even better uh, as a YouTuber for you guys. So God bless. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one, whenever that is. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.